Hope you're still awake. Late Night Mega here, and it's time for the final Sigma battle. That's a really neat uh, background we have there. And I like, th I love this music. I love this battle. So, uh, first we fight Grim Reaper Sigma, who's weak to the Rising Fire. Use it twice, then he'll appear here. Hop on a wall and dodge his uh, scythe. He'll always appear right above you. If you let him use his attack, uh, it's not nice. So don't let him do that. Just uh, take my word for it. Um, what else was I going to say? I like the music. I like Grim Reaper Sigma. I like how he says that. Are you ready for round two? Round two, he's weak to the lightning web. This is a three part battle. And he does not suffer from. Uh, he doesn't suffer from his. Oh, that was bad on my part. He doesn't suffer from. Uh, Stark Mandrel Syndrome. Now there's a couple ways you can... Oh, if you time that right, a uh, hover that isn't moving around will uh, give you enough time to dodge that. What you don't want to happen is this. Uh, don't let him uh, throw his axe into the ground. To avoid that, be on the wall when he does that attack. Another way you can get around this is to just uh, go to the wall that he didn't throw his scythe at and uh, dodge it that way. Well, I guess I'm not going to get another opportunity to uh, try and dodge that with the hover. You basically have to jump at the last possible moment and then hover as long as you can, and you'll be fine. And now for the final Sigma Battle, which starts us off with a, uh, uh, a life energy there. Well, that's what you think. And so we have... This is kind of an interesting battle. There's two different forms to uh, Sigma here. We have uh, this ground face, which is the most annoying to try and deal with. And then we have uh, the one with the big ray gun here. Big ray gun, I'll use the X-Buster. And if you listen for his cues, uh, there's two attacks he can do with the ray gun. Uh, one is when he says the end like that. And uh, let's see the other. And he's doing this attack again, which is the annoying attack. Time for me to get serious. Uh, we also have these elemental heads attacking us. There's fire, ice, and lightning. The fire is kind of tricky to dodge. The lightning is uh, the most difficult to dodge. You're firing in the wrong direction. And if you destroy the uh, elemental head that's trying to attack you... Ah, there's the uh, move I like. He'll send out a bunch of wind. Uh, use Ground Hunter on him. You can get a nice number of shots off uh, when he does that. For the lightning, uh, just try to dodge it the best as you can. And if he doesn't talk, uh, this Sigma will go into a mode where you can get uh, tons of damage on him and I'll fail to dodge. And we're going to rebattle him. I'll meet you back at that final part. You know, on second thought, I want to... Uh, try and show that I can dodge those lasers with the hover boots again.
Well, not this time. Another thing is, uh, you can use the... I think I jumped a little too early. Yep. Just slightly too early. Another thing is, you can use the, uh... Rising Fire Charged Attack to do a ton of damage to Sigma's first form. And our health refill is back. Uh, another thing you might notice is that Sigma has two health bars here. There's a Frost Attack. Uh, each form of Sigma here has its own health bar. And I'll switch over to the Ground Hunter. That one usually takes the longest to deal with. So to dodge the fire, uh, let it start firing at you on the ground and then uh, just kind of move up the wall and then back down. I'm usually not that bad at avoiding this laser. When he uses that attack, uh, that gives you an opportunity to get a lot of damage off on him. Typically I find if I stay towards the back he'll use uh, this wind move that I like. Which is good, because it lets me hit him more than when he uses his other attack. And then we have the lightning guy. Kind of... Kind of just move around the room in a, uh... Follow his pattern and move kind of slowly. Oops. Jump over the lightning as it hits the ground. And the uh, charged attack, if you have the plasma, oh hi, uh, is good against that one. Alright, we're going to do this battle properly. I don't need to pretend my sub-tanks exist to do this. I've played this game enough times. Oh, this is troublesome. So yeah, that time I didn't even uh, dash to dodge that one. And we have uh, Laser Sigma there into the yellow. And now we have Face Sigma. I don't know if that's really his name. I like his wind attack here because it's not something you just completely escape by uh, dashing. He still kind of pushes against you and so you really got to be careful with where you're lined up. Well, you can see this is a very uh, patterned battle as far as their attacks. Overall, uh, not too difficult of a final battle, but uh, I think it is, it, it's, it's like the perfect amount of challenge for a final Sigma battle. I like that. And then once you defeat uh, one of those forms, the second form will show up right away. Like I said, normally I find myself destroying the laser one first. Well, time to get serious. And we're going to do this mode, which means I get a lot of attacks off on you. Whoa. And you almost kill me again. Hee hee hee. What's so funny? 
This weapon is aimed straight at Earth already. No one can stop it now. Hey, Axe, I told you about that. And then Laser Sigma explodes. And so we'll go into the next room here. General, the weapon can be stopped with my body, but then you'll... Many of my men have died. As their leader, I must leave with them. X, please forgive our foolishness. General... So the general is going to sacrifice what's left of his body to stop the final weapon. And now we can enjoy the ending cutscene. Which I always found was really interesting. This is where I started to really get into the plot behind the X series. So X leaves this battle worried about becoming a maverick himself. And now we have a interesting credit sequence. Uh, you can see the final weapon kind of exploding in the back there. Really nice touch. So overall, uh, yeah, I, I find this to be the perfect example of a Mega Man X game. You have the uh, great graphic design, which I really appreciate for the X series. It looks like it's set a hundred years in the future from the classic series. Uh, I really like the animated cutscenes with the voice acting, uh, the voice acting throughout the stages as well when in certain parts. Uh, even though X's voice is kind of ridiculous. But that's okay. Uh, the armor... I feel the helmet is a bit too powerful, giving us infinite ammo for all of our weapons makes... makes conserving special weapons uh, completely pointless. Unless you like using their charged forms a lot. Uh, the hover boots... they were okay. Um... I was going to say, the plot, I, I really like, this is the only time we see the Repla Force, kind of like the whole uh, Dr. Doppler stuff from X3, so it's kind of a one-game sort of thing. But uh, this is the game that really got me interested in the plot of the X series, and one of the main reasons I was so excited when Mega Man X5 came out is to see where they were going with the plot, and... Uh, how they left the cliffhangers at the end of this game here. Uh, overall, I felt the challenge was really good if you choose not to use the special weapons against the Mavericks. Uh, you had four of them that were kind of easy and four that were kind of difficult. Um, but overall, the game, especially if you use these special weapons, is really not that 
difficult as long as you're playing as X. X is kind of the uh, easy mode character and Zero I've always viewed as the hard mode. And uh, that's all but we're not going to put this game to bed quite yet because we still have more text. I think we have more text. The battle has ended, yet somehow X doesn't feel quite right. What caused all those robots to turn into mavericks? Will it happen to me someday? Has X just realized his tragic destiny? It appears that X will have to solve this mystery one day soon. And so that that was always a really interesting uh, sequence to me, but we're still not putting this game to bed yet.